All right, guys, today's video is a old drugstore foundation that not a lot of people talk about. So if you want to see the product I'm referring to, then make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. So you're notified every time I post new videos and on to the video. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, let's start off with primer today. Of course, it's the NYX Blur, and I think I'm going to use my one size to carry the blur. So I'll be using these two primers today. I was actually sat down to do my makeup, and I'm like, hmm. I looked over to the side, I saw this foundation. I'm like, not a lot of people talk about this foundation, and it's a really good drugstore product, right? So let's go ahead and calm face first. Today, I don't think it should be as high. I'll do a slight wear test. It won't be a very long one. So I don't have to work today. So usually, you know, I don't keep on makeup for very long when I'm not at work. <laughs> yeah, so just, I like the combination of the two blur primers. The NYX provides my sunscreen and the Secure the Blur does just what it says it does. Blurs, pores, and you would think that it was like overly matte and tight, but it's not, it's not. It's a very comfortable feeling. So the foundation I'm talking about today is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Long Wear Foundation. And mine is in 600 Cinnamon. It comes, this is the one for oily skin and they also have a version for dry skin, which I was trying to sit here and think like what other drugstore, well, Maybelline, because Maybelline has the Fit Me Matte and then it has the Fit Me Dewy. So oh, those are the only two that I can think of like right off the top of my head before a drugstore to be able to incorporate two different versions of a foundation depending on your preference is excellent. This foundation has been out for a while. I believe they either reformulated the bottle not so much the product uh when this came out years when i'm talking like this has been out 10 plus years right so i've never i never tried it because in my head kind of like when i first started makeup i felt like i had to go out and buy the drugstore i mean the higher end products to get to achieve a beautiful look and then i discovered drugstore wasn't as bad like i could pick up a drugstore product use it not really have to do too much and it looks the same as a high-end product right and this was one of them this is one of them I was like this looks like skin and recently within the last year since I say like they did something to it I don't know what they did to it like I've been really wearing this and not a lot of people talk about it like you get a lot I'm gonna do two pumps you get a lot of the maybe Okay, while I'm out today, I need to get a memory card because I'm just about sick of having to uh, delete footage. Okay, so just do a swatch, right? It feels lightweight. This to me is a full coverage foundation without trying to be full coverage. You have those foundations where it's like, it's full coverage and you know it's full coverage, right? You don't, I want a full coverage look. I want a full coverage foundation without it looking full coverage. I just still want it to look like my skin, but be lightweight, breathable, natural looking, <laughs> but full coverage and for me this foundation does that if you can see it's like 17 dollars maybe 15 17 dollars <laughs> which you know drugstore foundations in 2024 can get up there <laughs> so it's 15 17 dollars is not bad okay <laughs> we'll see how my skin still looks breathable it still looks but it covered because i have a mark right here and i don't see it you don't see it right 
And I used to always be afraid, like, when I first started makeup, I used to always be afraid of drugstore products also because I felt like they were going to break me out because my skin is so sensitive. My skin is so sensitive. Like, I'll know right off the bat if a product breaks me it's going to break me out. Like I'll put it on and I'm going to start itching immediately. <laughs> Being irritated, like everything. So yeah. Let me just, whatever's on my brush on my lid. I don't think I'm not doing no like eye look or nothing. I just really want to focus on the foundation today. So that was two pumps, and this is how the skin is looking. Let's go ahead and do a concealer, which I think I'm going to do my nude stick. One of my buddies was like, no, no, I finally picked up the nude stick. She got shade number nine. She was like, she like it. I was like, oh, I'm so happy you like it, because this is another product that, for whatever reason, not a lot of people talk about. Like, I feel like this is a lightweight, full coverage concealer if that's possible at all. <laughs> it offers maximum coverage, but it doesn't. And I feel like when using concealers like under your eye, you have to be really careful because you don't want anything that's really heavy. Or for me, I'm all combo, but I don't want anything that's really drying underneath my eye because a dry under eye can be really, really uncomfortable, okay? So let's go ahead and blend this out. I need to get dressed if I can go. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of my Sasha Buttercup to set the concealer. I just feel like sometimes you have to go back in your stash and revisit. I feel like sometimes you have to go back in your stash and revisit products <clears throat> to remember why you fell in love with them. Because if I had not looked like on the shelf and it was like in the back of the plant, <laughs> I would have never, you know worn it in a while not unless i cleaned up the shelf <laughs> so yeah this is a beautiful one in the color range i want to say they have maybe i want to say 35 to 40 shades but i'm in love with the idea of we don't need just a matte version we need a matte version and we need a dewy version because people have different skin types. So I really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and bronze up the face just a little. I'm using my Black Radiance Press Powder. And you all, you all always know that I'm always going to say whatever products I use, they have to work with products I already have and love and use on a daily basis because I can't go out and buy a product just so that it can work with another product. That's not going to work for me. <laughs> right? So I'm just rising up the face, going upward. Make sure you go upward so you can have a lifted look and not go down with any products. So when you go down, it makes your face droop. And I'm kind of using this as a blush slash bronzer today. And I'm making sure to go up, like I said, in circular motions. Okay. Let me, I'm going to just go throw one shadow on with my finger and then I'll be right back. I put one little purple glitter shade out on out of Car Beauty Palette. Then I'm going to take my bronzer and just make sure in my transition area, same Black Radiance bronzer. And I just put that shadow on with my finger. <laughs> like that. And I'm bronzed up. Mm, did everything. Oh, that was a quick look. Let me throw some mascara, even though it's not part of 
know what I'm talking about here. That was real quick. Come on, Jeff. Yeah, okay. And we're just going to spray with some of my All Control Spray by LA Girl. All right, guys, this is the completed look using the Revlon foundation. I'm just wearing it for a couple of hours. I'm going to go to the store and come back, even though I have videos on my channel already. I'm doing a full wear test on. If you're interested in any foundation product, just go to my foundation playlist and you'll see wear tests and first time, um, what do you call it? First time, try it out for the first time videos of all foundations I ever reviewed on my channel but this is how the skin is looking and it looks quite natural and still has a full coverage type of look like I said I'm gonna run to the store and I'll be back and just to give you an idea of how it wears for a couple of hours so I'll be back all right guys I'm back after a little over four hours and this is how the skin and everything is looking I let a little natural light in so you can actually see I feel like you see so much more in natural light but this is how the face is looking I went to about five stores today totally off subject five stores today when it was early in the morning of course it was like 7 30 ish 8 ish or whatever but nobody I would be like good morning Nobody said good morning. I know you heard me. No good mornings or anything. I know a lot of people say, oh, I'm not a morning person. That's why I don't say good morning or be jolly in the morning because I'm not a morning person. Baby, let me tell you something. If God woke you up and got you going in the morning, then you need to be a morning person person and greet people and say hello especially if you're in a customer if you're in a job that requires customer service you need to be good morning how are you even if you're not in customer service each day that you're able to get up in good health and able to do everything you need to do for the day should be a good day it's a blessing to have that day i've always been that way i've always been Good, hey, how you doing? Good morning. You know, even when I don't feel my best, even when I got stuff going on in my life that I'm not happy with, you'll never know because I'm still going to good morning and be happy because it takes so much energy to be negative and to say, oh, I'm not going to speak. You know how much energy it takes for you to not speak versus speak? Like, it takes a lot for you to say, mm, I'm not going to speak today. I don't feel like this. I'm tired. I had a long night. I wish they just pick up their stuff and get out the store instead of just saying, good morning. See how easy that was? I I just don't understand. And my, I've always said these jobs and these companies, even for myself, they didn't come get you and be like, oh, I need for you to work with me. Like, you're the best person. I don't know you. I don't have a resume for you. You didn't put in an application. No one referred you. But I'm just coming to you because I know that you're the person for this job. They didn't come to you. You know what happened? You filled out an application. You did an interview. They hired you based upon what you said in your interview that you were a customer service person. You know, you had all these skills to greet customers and help with uh, situations you know customers customers might have or anything that's why they hire you then when you get the job it's like I'm here and it ooh, oh this is totally off subject I need to hurry up what really wrecks my nerves is I know nowadays like everything is self-serve like self-checkout or if you even if you go through a cashier line like they're bagging their own groceries but if you see an older person in a wheel cart or whatever and you're just sitting sitting there on your phone waiting for them to put the product on the belt you know wouldn't it be much faster if you just take the time to just go around take the stuff out the cart for them and then you can scan the stuff but you'd rather because you on your phone you're on your phone so this give me a little opportunity to be on my phone versus helping this elderly person put this stuff oh that irritates my nerves <laughs> that irritates. but on a good note we're gonna leave off on a good note on a good note 
I was getting in a car from coming from Kroger and I saw this older lady. She was going in the Goodwill that was next door. And this had to be about probably like 830 by this point, 830 at this point. And she had like her hair done. She had her makeup done. She had her little bag and she was older. When I say older, I'm like probably like 70s, if not early 80s. And she just looked so her shirt was so crisp and white and she had on some like her little denim jeans. And it was a, such a cute combination, but she was done up. And this is eight something in the morning. So if someone who is 70 plus can put herself together to go do her her errands and run around then the younger people need to take notes from the older people and not just come out the house any kind of way just because they can and it's nobody business how I dress like you could tell she took pride in just putting herself together even if it was to go to go with goodwill and in thrift shop for the day like she looked so and I just was sitting in my car looking at her get out and I just was smiling I was like she looks so good <laughs> that and that's in my head I was like oh that'll be me when I get 70 like all uh, done up going to good real early first thing in the morning because I want to beat the crowd but anyway that was just so off subject but anyway so this is how this get it's beautiful but you did notice today that I didn't set it with the powder I set my concealer with the powder but I didn't set the foundation other than spray my um, setting spray. I feel like some foundations you just have to learn if I need to set it with powder or if, if this is going to be a more self-setting foundation. You just have to learn your foundations as you go. Yeah, so this is a series. It will be seven days of new slash old foundations depending on what foundations I decide to, you know, pick up again, revisit try it again so it'll be seven days of this so make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow's video <laughs> i gotta wait for those to come in the mail so hopefully they'll come today but make sure you stay tuned all week because we're going to be on a roll but this is how it's looking i just think it looks natural it's drugstore it's affordable and they have a variety of shades even if you're unable to find it in walmart target like amazon will be your best place to find it and you probably find it for much cheaper right so yeah this is how the skin i love when my skin looks light skin i don't want to look like a walking mannequin <laughs> i want to look like i eat sleep breathe live play run jump laugh i want to look like i do all of that in my makeup and it still just looks natural that's what i want to look like okay guys so that was the longest part of the video huh yeah if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned all week because we got foundations for seven days you never know what's next and i'm gonna talk to y'all later peace out bye guys